In this video, we will perform cytosis enabled RNA digestion and tissue removal. Ensure that the Visium cytosis is powered on, clean, and ready for an experimental run. Thaw the RNA buffer B at room temperature. Pipette mix slowly and thoroughly with a wide bore pipette tip. Do not vortex. Thaw the extension buffer at room temperature. Vortex, centrifuge briefly, and maintain at room temperature. Pipette mix the RNase enzyme. Centrifuge briefly, and maintain on ice until ready to use. Thaw the extension enzyme. Pipette mix, centrifuge briefly, and maintain on ice until ready to use. Thaw the tissue removal enzyme at room temperature. Pipette mix, centrifuge briefly, and maintain at room temperature. Prepare the probe release mix by combining nuclease-free water, RNase buffer B, and RNase enzyme. Probe release mix is viscous. Pipette mix thoroughly until the solution is homogeneous. Maintain on ice. Prepare 10% eosin shortly before use by combining alcoholic eosin and 1x PBS. Vortex and centrifuge briefly. Enter the new run information, including the Visium slide serial number. Ensure the serial number is accurate. Enter the custom run name, temperature, and time. 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes is recommended for most applications. On the next screen, we will enter the sample names. Now we will prepare tissue slides for loading onto the tissue slide stage. Using a pipette, remove all 2x SSE buffer from the wells on the tissue slide. Remove the tissue slide from the tissue slide cassette. Add 300 microliters of 10% eosin to uniformly cover each tissue section per slide. Incubate for one minute at room temperature. Remove the 10% eosin by holding the slide at an angle over a liquid waste container. While holding the slide over the liquid waste container, rinse the slide with one milliliter of 1x PBS. Do not pipette directly onto the tissue. Repeat two more times for a total of three washes. Gently flick the slide back and forth to remove excess PBS. Remove any remaining PBS with a laboratory wipe without damaging the tissue sections. Wipe the back of the tissue slides with a laboratory wipe. Now we will prepare tissue slides for loading onto the tissue slide stage. The side assist instrument should display a load slide screen. Press down on the wide end of the clip to lift and pivot the narrow end of the clip. Pivot the clips to their outermost position. Use one hand to hold the slide in place and the other hand to pivot the clips and overlap the slide. Ensure that at least one clip secures the slide before adjusting the position further. Lay the tissue slide flat against the stage surface, with the tissue facing away from the instrument. Use your fingers to center and finally adjust the position of the tissue sample within the alignment guides. In this video, we are using 11mm side assist slides. Therefore, the tissue is aligned with the 11mm guides, not the 6.5mm guides. Please refer to the tissue slide alignment video in the Visium side assist tissue preparation guide video series for more information. If only one tissue on one slide will be analyzed, use a blank slide for the second position on the tissue slide stage. Next, we will load the Visium Cytosis Spatial Gene Expression Slide. Open the Visium Slide Lock by using one finger to pivot. Line up the slide with the label face up and orient it to the right. Fit the slide within the raised grooves on the left, top, and bottom. Hold the slide in place with one hand while slowly closing the Visium slide lock. The lock will partially obscure the slide label when correctly secured. Next, we will add the tissue removal enzyme to the probe release mix. 
remove the probe release mix from ice. Pipette mix the tissue removal enzyme and centrifuge briefly. Add 4.7 microliters of tissue removal enzyme to 70.3 microliters of probe release mix. Pipette mix 15 times with a pipette set to 50 microliters. Centrifuge for 5 seconds. The time between the addition of tissue removal enzyme to probe release mix and starting the Visium Side Assist experiment run should be less than 5 minutes. Dispense 25 microliters of probe release mix into each spacer on the Visium Side Assist spatial gene expression slide. Avoid creating bubbles when dispensing the probe release mix. Now we will run the Visium Side Assist. Close the lid. The home screen will now display a play symbol and run information along the bottom of the screen. Press the play button to start the run. The run should take 30 minutes. The mid-run progress bar will show the time remaining in the run. During the side assist instrument run, start the thermal cycler program and prepare the probe extension mix. Refer to the probe extension in Aleutian video. At the end of a run, the button will display Done and a Run Info tab at the bottom of the screen. Do not allow the sample to sit in the Visium Site Assist after run completion. Promptly move to the next steps. Green indicates a successfully completed run. Click the Done button and open the lid. Do not power off the instrument at this time as it needs to process support data. Before removing tissue slides from the instrument, record which sample was located in which capture area on the Visium Side Assist Spatial Gene Expression slide. Users should immediately remove the Visium slide from the instrument and proceed with the protocol workflow. Remove the Visium Side Assist Spatial Gene Expression slide. It is normal if tissue remains on the tissue slides after run completion. While holding the Visium Side Assist Spatial Gene Expression slide over the liquid waste container, Rinse each capture area with 1 milliliter of 2x SSC. Do not pipette directly onto the capture areas. Rinse the slide near the Visium Site Assist instrument to ensure prompt washing. Repeat two more times for a total of three washes. Place the Visium Site Assist Spatial Gene Expression slide in a new 6.5 or 11 millimeter Visium cassette. Some moisture remaining on the Visium Side Assist Spatial Gene Expression slide is normal. Consult the Visium Side Assist Instrument User Guide for more information on instrument cleaning and data export. Instrument cleaning should only occur during a safe stopping point. We have completed the Visium Side Assist run. Next, we'll perform probe extension and elution.